If you have seen the past video in which I built a timer, you might have noticed that I had a zoom in and zoom out a bunch of times, and I did that with this tool. Now you can see this is a pretty cool and easy to use tool that, let me just show you, it's really two simple things, just two little options that you have here. So let me just show you a little bit more about it and how you can use this. Then I'll show you how to install it in your computer. And you can download these for free also. Just check the link down in the description. Okay, so let me copy and paste this right here and I'm gonna show you. Now, if you go to the effects tab after it is installed and you can actually drag and drop this dynamic zoom effect on top of your clip. Now, the reason why I have this on an adjustment layer is because there's one thing that happens. Yes, this does work just like that too, but it's limited in the sense that you cannot add more keyframes like I did in this case right here. If you want to be able to add keyframes, you can easily do that by adding these into an adjustment layer. So let me just show you how to do that. If you don't want to do that, just use it directly on your clip and then you should be fine too. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add an adjustment clip here on top of our video and before we're actually able to put our effect here we have to go and add this adjustment clip into our media pool here you can rename these just dz just to make it different than this one and then you're gonna have to drag this into the timeline like that now the reason for this is that when you add a normal adjustment layer it for some reason takes into account all the different keyframes right here so it doesn't start counting it from zero but when you add it into your media pool and bring it back out then it does so now you can go to the effects tab and find the dynamic zoom effect and then you can drag this on top. You can change the color of this clip if you want to use it across your project and then you simply copy and paste this and add it on top of any section that you want to use this on. To edit or add keyframes, if you press scale, if you change the scale to one, this is going to zoom in one time and you can actually make this even smaller. If you do it zero, then it's going to show up normal. Now, by default, this is going to take like 2.5 or a quarter of the time of the length of your clip. So if you make this longer, then it's going to take a little bit longer to get into the position. Now, if you want to see the target of where you're putting these over, click here on this arrow, go to Fusion Overlay. And now you can see this little mark that you can change around to move the target. You can also move these to be closer or further away. It's really up to you and you can use these to move this around. Now, if you want to add a keyframe, it's super easy. All you have to do is go to where you want it to start, add a keyframe here on the position or the scale or both. And then we're going to move our position here and zoom in a little bit more like that. And if we look at this and if we look at these without the control, so let me just turn this off. It zooms into that building, then it moves there and I can make these a little bit smaller and then it will zoom out again back to normal. So the video continues. Now, this is super easy and simple to use. And that is pretty much it of how you would use this. And now let me show you how you can install this. In order to install these, it's different than installing any other macro, because for some reason, when you add these to the normal effects folder, it doesn't work. So let me show you what I did. First, you're going to go into Fusion, go to the effects tab go to templates, edit, and then go to the effects. Now you can right click on top of any of these and then you will show the folder. After that opens, you are going to want to paste these here on this folder. Now this is a DRFX file, so we cannot just simply open it by double clicking. What you have to do is select these, right click, and then open with WinRAR or WinZip, whichever you have. Here, go to the edit section, go to the effects, and now you will see all these ones that are the defaults here already. Now, all you have to do is find the file and also the PNG email that's going to be on that same folder and drag these on top of this file. Now, a little window is going to open. Just click OK. And then it's going to ask for permission. And then after that, you will find your dynamic zoom right here. And then you can close these. And then I'm not sure if automatically it will show up here. If not, then you might have to restart DaVinci. And then if you go to the edit page, you should be able to find it right here and drag these on top of any type of clip. Now, and one thing I forgot to mention that is if you like using it as an adjustment layer, what you can do is simply drag these right here and put these into your power bins. That means that you can access these on any kind of project now. And all you have to do is drag and drop these onto your timeline and then change the color and you're good to go. Now, this is it for this video. This is basically my Christmas gift for all of you. 
if you think this is going to be useful for you, make sure to download it and then you can use this on any kind of projects that you want. And this is free, of course. And if you want to support it, you can pay what you want or you can just simply buy one of the other bundles that I have on this Swabi website. This is it for this video. I will see you in the next video here in Swabi. Bye.